All right, so right now we're in a very happy mood because we're talking about carnival now. Not Trinidad and Tobago carnival, but a carnival that was influenced as many other carnivals, probably close to 100 now. It was 80 some years ago. Carnivals around the world influenced by Trinidad and Tobago carnival. We're talking about Miami carnival, and here to tell us more about it is the treasurer and director of sponsorship and marketing for Miami carnival, board member morning, John good Beckford. Good morning, John. Yes. Welcome L to the Now Morning Show. A little bleary-eyed, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Early mornings do that to you. Early mornings do that to you. So Miami carnival, it is one of yeah. the big four carnivals. Uh, you, we were chatting before the show, and you mentioned that Miami carnival. Yeah, I know it's one that Trinis look forward to, to going across to... Miami in October. Absolutely. One mm -hmm. of our biggest markets uh, in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. um, of course, is Trinidad. So we're really excited about that. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. And so, so you were big four with who? Who are the other? Carabano, yeah. Labor Day, Notting Hill, you and, know, and, so and, and of Miami course Carnival. Miami. So and right. we tend to kind of bookend the, uh, the season, right. as we call it, in the fraternity, even though there are other carnivals yes. you know, after um, Labor Day, not Labor Day, sorry, Columbus Day right. weekend. Yeah, you know, so and then it's Miami Carnival in October. Now you, I I remember when we did it for E Zone many yeah. years ago. The first time we went, it was around a park, right, in like a stage, a forty foot stage in a park, and everybody was jumping around the stage. I was like, oh, how cute! And then we went back. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to uh, to Miami Carnival. It was this massive parade around yeah. a stadium, and we haven't yeah. been since. So what happens now? Uh, so, so now we're at the uh, Miami-Dade Fairgrounds, mm -hmm. and so you know there's some carnivalaholics that would love for Miami Carnival to be on this on the road on the streets, but you know, the U.S., especially in this current climate, yeah. is not really open to yeah. us, you know, parading yeah. down the streets like in the Caribbean yeah. islands. So we um, have the, the good fortune of being beside Tamiami Park and the fairgrounds. So but what what do you guys have? Like, do you have your juve and your? Um, Children's masks yes. and what are some uh, of the things you have? This, our season kicks off with the Junior Carnival, which mm -hmm. is going to be on Saturday, October the 5th. Right. Um, that's at the Central Broward Regional Park in Broward County. Yeah. Um, it's a cricket stadium. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have Panorama competition. Oh, yeah, Panorama? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. This year we have in Massey, uh, All Stars, Steel Participating Orchestra. Participating or judging? Yes. Okay, yeah, because yeah, so I was just making sure. Yeah, so they're <laughs> coming up, so we're all excited about that. Uh -huh. And then, of course, Juve is on Saturday the uh, 12th. And, then and the Juve is the during the day, or it's in the early morning, like? Trinidad, Early morning. So, of course, again, in the U.S., you know, you have noise ordinances <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, we can't start juvie at 4 in the morning. Right. Right. So we start at 7 a.m. Okay. Uh, and uh, go until about 3 p.m. And then you have, yeah. what, a parade on the Sunday? Huge the parade on the Sunday. You have over uh, 18, 19 mass bands. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, we're a hybrid carnival in the sense that we also have a concert stage. Okay. So we have your mass band stage on one side of the park, and then you have the concert stage. So mm -hmm. they kind of run simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So you have people coming out to see mass. You have people coming out to see the uh, concert. So one of the things that I noticed in Notting Hill, you mentioned Notting Hill Carnival, mm -hmm. and that was one of my favorite carnivals. Okay, I need to come back to Miami Carnival to see if I'm going to put you up there with Miami Carnival, with, uh, uh -oh. with Notting Hill <laughs> Carnival. But one of the things that was interesting is that I, I, you can see the influence of Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, but you also saw pockets of Brazilian stuff happening and... Jamaican stuff and rave, and it just spread out its tentacles throughout the community. How inclusive is Miami Carnival? Uh, well, starting with our board, uh, mm -hmm. we have a board. Uh, you know, we have, of course, you know, eleven. <laughs> I can't call everybody's name; would have enough time for that. Yeah. But um, uh, you know, I have to shout out Marlene and yeah. TJ, Nick, Jack, and a few others. But you know, it starts with our board. We have uh, a, a diverse board. We have uh, you know folks that represent Belize, Antigua. Uh, Dominica, you know, Mario Zamora is our uh, administrator. He's mm -hmm. from the DR. Uh, did I mention Jamaica? Okay. Yes. So Jamaica, yeah. Where's the camera? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't and any Trinidad and Tobago <laughs> people. Uh, and, and of course, St. Lucia. Yes. Um, our, our board chair, Joan Justin, mm -hmm. uh, is from St. Lucia. We are, you know, we had a small team that went down to St. Lucia Carnival. And we're doing mm -hmm. some great things, uh, you know, with the uh, St. Lucia uh, yeah. government down there. And uh, Panama. Yeah. So, you know, and Belize, Trinidad Jamaica, Tobago. Panama, Antigua. Um, Brooklyn, Yvette mm -hmm. representing mm -hmm. Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. We love the New Yorkers. That's our, you know, that is our. You haven't called Trinidad market. and Tobago's yet, huh? I, I started off with Trinidad oh, and Tobago. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. TJ, Marlene, Catherine, Keith, Moody, <laughs> Jeanette, Raymond, Rafi. Half the board from Trinidad and Tobago. Half the board. Right, the majority of the board is Trinidad yeah. and Tobago. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. So. so, you know, we had, and the thing about Mammy Conval as well, what we see 
is that um, it, it has blossomed so that a number of events, so like Caesar's Army, for example, they have their event up there as well, and you have so many things. So, so you guys have created uh, an ecosystem, so to speak, uh, that allows other people to benefit from uh, what you guys have started. Now, sponsorship. I know you can't do that without sponsorship. Uh, who's on board? And finally, the <laughs> world prepare, premiere, the Miami Carnival launch this evening yes. at the bungalow. So who are some of your sponsors? Uh, our presenting partners, the uh, Caribbean American, uh, Caribbean American. Uh, Caribbean Airlines? Caribbean Airlines. Caribbean Airlines, <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, we're, we're just almost here on live TV for the first time, right? And, of course, the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. Mm -hmm. Those are our two presenting partners. We have MoneyGram yes. uh, that's on board in a very big way this year. And yes. so we are very excited about that. Down here, MoneyGram is Massey yeah. Finance. Yeah. In Jamaica, it's Lasco. And yeah. I think in Guyana, it's um, Massey um, Services. Right. You know, so. But MoneyGram is there. And then we have a few other sponsors as well. TD Banks uh, is our presenting sponsor for the Junior Carnival. Mm -hmm. So we are very excited about having a sponsorship because of course, you know, without that help, you know, because we're not run by government. And so, you know, the, the funds that we generate comes from sales and it comes from sponsorships. So that is key. Uh, and our partnerships with those sponsors uh, is a big thing for us. All right, and we'll be jumping on board and as the official media network for Miami Carnival with the launch of Miami Carnival this evening at the tonight, Bungalow. Tonight, tonight. Yeah, yes. and there's going to be guys. Free uh, go to Miami Carnival. Well, let's, yes, but I'm glad you it, said that. I'm glad you said that. Uh, yeah, you're away. giving it away, so I'm, 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 glad you said, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you said that, Rishi, because <laughs> we're launching the Miami Carnival Flyaway competition, right? Oh, it's a competition? Yes, and oh a lucky person I don't ever win can win two tickets to the Secret Caribbean Airlines to Miami Carnival. You get tickets to the events and a whole lot more. So you have to stay tuned for that as we launch uh, this evening. Thank you so much, John Beckford, for coming on the program. We're going to take uh -huh. in, we're going to take in a few messages. This Friday, TTT and the next 99.1 FM gear up to launch Miami Carnival. Miami Carnival, 7 p.m. at the Bungalow. Come enjoy drink specials all night long with music from Team Next 99.1 FM's DJs and announcers. Get ready as we launch our epic Miami Carnival promotion, where you can win airline tickets, accommodation, fat passes, costumes, and more. Friday, 13 September. This Friday. At the Bungalow, Miami Carnival 2019, the launch. You never know who might just pass by. We've got some surprises in store just for you. The vibes start at 7 p.m. Get listed. Send an email to reservations at thebungalowtrinidad.com or call 610-2864. Powered by Caribbean Airlines, the warmth of the islands, the Bungalow. Next 99.1 FM, the next level of radio, and TTT. Live for local. TTT Limited, the official media network for Miami Carnival 2019.